Hey guys, this is Nightflame and today guys I will be giving a review for Archie issue number 10. Uh, this issue is written by Mark Wade and art by Veronica Fish. And uh, let's jump into this book. This is a subjective review, which means that, you know, it's an opinion based. Uh, some of you might not agree with it, some of you might. Uh, but, um, you know, it's an opinion based. I'll let you know at the end if I think you guys should buy this or skip it. Uh, and I'll give you a rating on it. I'll give this book a rating from... 1 to 10. We'll see which one it lands, uh, and it'll be very spoilerish. So, we're about to get into the spoilers, so let's get ready, guys, uh, and let's start off. So, spoiler warning. Uh, so, this comic starts off with uh, Betty and Archie. They're in this explosion, it looks like, and they're both in the middle. So, we get a background on this whole issue on how they both got here. Uh, so, we start off with the event and the event happened in home ec class we have mr collier who is the teacher of home ec and he is a teacher who's everybody ha who everybody has had for probably the longest time uh archie's parents probably had it and this person is known um because you know he's a teacher and he teaches basically a lot of subjects apparently uh so he gets in an altercation with archie because archie creates a popcorn from a washing machine and the popcorn is everywhere so mr collier is like you know what you always mess things up you always do crazy things and veronica ends up videotaping this whole altercation and you can see looks like mr um collier is like you know completely abusing archie verbally uh so this video was not taken, you know, with bad intentions. Veronica was just trying to get it, take a video of it, so she can show her friends what Archie looks like. Uh, so, you know, the video ends up going around, uh, and it ends up reaching this lady's phone who works for um, Veronica's father's campaign. Um, her father is running for campaign, front mayor for the city, and that campaign manager, I believe that was what she probably is, uses the video to their advantage and you can see here like right here you can see her and they use that the video exactly for an ad that goes against mr collier apparently mr collier is also running for mayor and mr collier is betty's uncle which i forgot to mention so so you can get how complicated this is getting uh so betty ends up finding out that um you know mr collier was humiliated she ends up going to archie and telling archie you need to fix this your girlfriend's doing this she made you change you are like a puppy now like you're completely um in a leash so Betty asks Archie to fix it, and Archie can never fix things, so he makes them worse. He ends up driving Mr. Collier out of town, and Betty is completely heartbroken. And she ends up telling how um, Archie, you know, completely messed things up, made things worse even. And you know what? He has, like, no regrets for it. So then Archie ends up saying something unwillingly, and she says, you know what, Betty? You know I'm not good at fixing things, uh, but don't blame it on Veronica because Betty was blaming it on Veronica. It's not her fault. I just like someone with confidence and someone who knows what she wants. And this hurts Betty because Betty was never, she was never confident about herself and she never knew what she wanted to be. Uh, so this hurts Betty and completely just makes things worse. And Betty just completely hates Archie now. And we can see Archie messed up. And we'll see what happens in the next issue. So what did I think about this issue of Archie? Um, I actually thought it was a really, really good issue. I, I thought, you know, this issue had more of a big effect than the last couple of issues we've been getting. Um, the art is beautiful as always. Veronica Fish has completely killed it this time around. Uh, I like some of her paneling. I like her facial expressions that uh, and I also like her little cartoonish features as well. She draws a killer Betty, though. I think her Betty is the best. Uh, but the issue, regarding the issue, I thought it was just really well done. Um, Betty here came out as um, a very... A character that's very like some like a lot of people like. Uh, well, Veronica, Veronica didn't do anything wrong, but I still don't like her. I dislike her a lot, actually. And I feel like Veronica is just a brat and you can see how betty is so more, much more likable than veronica in this issue obviously they're both um you know have a fair chance because in the history of archie archie it never ends up with any of them uh or we don't know who he ends up with uh but he's always leaning towards both of them so um yeah, I thought this issue was good. I actually really enjoyed it. Um, I like the whole political aspect that Marguerite is been bringing in with the whole political campaigning. It's a fun series. This issue is a highlight in particular. Uh, great art. The coloring also was actually really, really good. Um, you know, it did its job. 
and the writing was spectacular. So this one was a really good issue of Archie, and I actually gave this issue a 9 out of 10. It was, you know, almost perfect, and I recommend you guys to pick it up. It's just very good. Like, it, it captures everything. Uh, it makes Betty just compelling, uh, makes... Veronica's father is completely the villain and Archie also has a moment here and you know it makes Archie someone who used to be such a flat character dynamic and that's what I'm really loving about this series so Archie number 10 9 out of 10 and I recommend you guys to pick it up so thanks for watching this video hope you like and subscribe to my channel and have a great day guys goodbye